We need to support Israel 100 percent. We need to make sure that they've got the resources necessary, and they're not asking for a lot, but that they have the resources necessary to be able to, to come in and destroy this enemy whose chief function, whose, whose goal, ultimate goal, is to wipe Israel off the map. That's what it, they've been very clear. They are using civilians to hide behind. They have been given every opportunity to allow innocent people to leave. But they won't do it because they're hiding behind them. And when you see this kind of just, just they are terrorists in the worst way possible. And when Israel's focus is to get rid of them, which will benefit the entire planet, we should be supporting them, not asking for a ceasefire. Can you imagine if we'd asked for a ceasefire the day after, you know, 9-11? Oh, well, no, the rest of the world, no, we don't want to fight. Ooh, look, when, when, when evil happens, you have to crush it before it's allowed to expand. Yeah, we saw it in World War II. On. We're seeing it now. You have got to crush it before it expands. That is what they're trying to do. And, you know, the rest of the world needs to get on board with that.